Shane has steel imager. Acid attacks steel very differently than water corrosion. To demonstrate that, I've immersed steel bolts and nuts within dilute acid, 1% hydrochloric acid and 5%. And I'm going to compare that with water. So if you're interested, let's see what it looks like. And here we go. This video is accelerated by about 5,000 times. What you'll probably notice first is the amount of bubbles that are being formed. The, the hydrochloric acid attacking the steel generates and evolves hydrogen gas. Now, in the middle, it's only 1% hydrochloric acid, which means that it's actually 99% water. And for every 100 milliliters, we have a few drops of hydrochloric acid. Those drops are enough to completely alter how the solution attacks the steel. Unlike corrosion in clean water, which slowly forms rust, and that rust slows down the rate of corrosion, acid never stops. Acid dissolves away the metal and constantly exposes fresh metal. As long as that acid has oomph, it's going to continue to damage the steel. But you'll notice about midway through this that the acid runs out of juice, there's less bubbles that are generated, and the reaction slows down. If we were to continue the trial, we would see that the bolt would just begin to rust as if it were immersed in water now that the acid has been consumed. Let's focus on the 5% hydrochloric acid. Why? Because it's just cool. I mean, look at all the hydrogen that it evolves in. It just, it just goes like this the entire, the entire trial. If you look closely, you'll also see some black specks. Not only does the acid dissolve away the material, if any corrosion product does form and adhere, the hydrogen bubbles will blast it off and making sure there's always fresh metal for the acid to go after. Even after only five days, it was very clear the differences in the corrosion that the acid causes to the compared to the water corrosion. Now it's my intention to repeat this trial. I've learned a lot on how to how to video it and what might be interesting next time. So if you're interested, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Because the more you know about the materials you work with, the better you'll be at what you do.